Hey YouTube, I have a I have a few problems, and you know this vlog I feel like just being a total douchebag right now. I'm done being the Mr. Nice Guy around here because you never get what you want when you're the nice guy. If you notice, if you you know that you're kind of the person who's always nice and then gets shit thrown right back in their face. That's how I really feel right now, and I'm not sure why the camera's orange or maybe that's just what I'm looking at. Two things. One. You can't voice your opinion on YouTube without somebody out of nowhere just dogging you. It's like you voice your opinion and then you're the bad guy because you want to voice your opinion about something you don't like and that, you know, something you don't like is pissing you off so then you go and, you know, you rant about it. I don't understand. Why do people sit here and try to dog people after they rant. You're, you're voicing your opinion on how you think. And this one person in particular, I'm not going to put the username because I don't feel like starting anything, even though I already did, and I'm trying to end it. But it has to do with that emo gothic hate video. The video that has gone viral on my page, um, the most viewed on my page, um, and the views have been really picking up ever since I put that emo gothic apology because people are like, oh, what the hell is this? What, what is this video? Well, this is the video I'm talking about. You go look at the comments on that video and you think that people are just trying to rip you apart because you're trying to, you know, voice your opinion. And when you try to, when you voice your opinion, you're the bad guy. I don't understand. And then another thing is when you try to go out to eat, you try to go out to eat and you... And you're trying to get a good meal. Yesterday I went to CeCe's, of course. I told you guys that yesterday if you watch the videos. I don't give a shit if you watch the videos or not. I hope you don't watch the videos because you're just going to get pissed off. If you work at CeCe's Pizza, it's this pizza place that's got the buffet and you can get whatever you want anytime you want. As much as you want, have for five bucks. Unless you go for the happy hour, which is two to four and it's two ninety nine. Not sponsored. Although I wish. And you can't have a decent meal without something being wrong with them, alright? The food's good and then you just look at your food. I've learned, you know, just just eat. Don't even look at your food, right? Don't even look at the food. Because you're only going to get pissed off if you look at the food. Unless you're at some uh, fucking Bravo, which is like this Italian eatery. And it's so expensive, but you get so little of portions. Not the point. The point is, you can't have a decent meal without something being wrong. Yesterday, I had a piece of pizza. And it was a good piece of pizza, too. But until I looked down at the food, and I saw there was a freaking piece of hair about that fucking long in it. What the hell? You can't have, like I said, you can't have a decent meal without something being wrong with it. And the other day, my mom was at this place called Roosters. It's a wing place. It's kind of like Hooters, but there's not sexy women in short shorts and skinny tank tops where you can see their cleavage and shit, which is a good restaurant in the wing house, which there's none in Ohio. Bummer. But she, my mom got a salad like she normally does because she's not a vegetarian, but she likes to eat healthy. You know, air quotes around that. I use healthy really loosely here. And she finds a dime in the bottom of her salad. And then she gets the manager, and the manager was like, oh, the, you know, this just happened before. Some, one time they found a, a frog. What the hell? Who the hell is going to come up, the manager of the restaurant is going to come up to you and say, Yeah, there, one time, here at this very restaurant, they found a fucking bullfrog. What the hell? Who's going to fucking say that? If I was a manager, I'd be like, yeah, this never happened before, I'm sorry, here's your refund. No, she left the fucking piece of free cheesecake. No, the bill's, you know, the bill's still 40 bucks because the fucking place is expensive. But then she only gets a fucking 20... It sucked, the, the cheesecake sucked, by the way, I'm not even going to lie, it was... Five dollar cheesecake and the bill was forty bucks and she finds a fucking diamond and she tells her and That's what I say. If you're leery about your food, don't look at it and just eat it. There's the phone, I'm not fucking answering it. Just don't look at your food when you eat. I don't know how many times I gotta say this. Maybe I gotta look at the phone. What the hell? Anyway, that was my rant for the day. I hope you guys did not enjoy that. So Bye.